and then before you know it you're smashing out heavy ass hip thrusts and all the men are looking at you like horrified that you can move that much weight with your ass it's great honestly it's great you that i like it's only you that i'm wanting hi um I'm, oh let me turn the air con down you up a bit below me so i've literally just fin just filmed this video but um my phone overheated and turned off i prefer filming in my mum's car but if my phone's gonna keep overheating it's it can't work so if anyone has any camera recommendations let me know uh but yeah so i'm filming my um how i got into the gym why i got into the gym confidence and motivation tips because uh i said i'd film it so here we are but i'm just gonna jump straight into it because honestly i'm concerned that my phone's gonna overheat and turn off again so uh yeah so why i got into the gym i'm not going to talk too much about this just because i feel like people don't actually care i mean if anyone does then thanks but anyway I had a bit of a bit of an arsehole uh, of an ex-boyfriend he used to call me like anorexic uh just make nasty comments about how small i was um which by the way you can't look anorexic like anorexia is an eating disorder we won't mention names but uh clearly lacking in brain cells but yeah he used to call me anorexic and stuff and it did make me quite insecure about it so i started going to the gym typical girl starting at the gym wanting to tone up which by the way is literally just building muscle and then having a low enough body fat percentage to like show the muscle there is no such thing as toning a muscle just a quick fyi um so yeah started going to the gym typical wanting to turn up did a lot of cardio to be fair to me and Millie we did used to use the machines at the gym I used to go to uh we did use like the leg press and stuff and we did actually do a few like squats with like the barbell like in the actual like main weights area but we were both like intimidated to go in there so we didn't really go in there that often we did like a lot of like cardio a lot of abs oh my god I don't think I've ever done so many crunches in my life um and a lot of body weight stuff and then I started like digging because I was obsessed with Tammy Hembro, 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 I don't know which one it is, uh, but I was obsessed with her, I was like oh my god I want to look like her, let me look like her. So I started digging on like how to gain weight because I've got a really fast metabolism so for me it has been a long, a long road to gain weight. Um, so I started digging on like what I needed to do like training wise. I eventually moved gyms and joined a pure gym which is the one i still go to now when i'm at home from uni started with going with my friend vicky who went for like a week and then abandoned me so thanks for that sweetheart uh started going and then obviously vicky wouldn't go so i ran into the same problem again of oh my god like i don't want to go to the gym on my own so i just didn't go and then one day i was just like amy grow a pair of balls just go to the gym i just started going most days and just going into the women's only section and i'd find like workouts on instagram and stuff and just copy them it's a bit shit to be honest like i feel like it's built on the premise that women just want to do light weights and cardio which if that's what you want to do then fine but that wasn't how i ended up building my body so i did that for a few months and then it got to a point where i'd seen a decent amount of progress but my progress was kind of halting and i knew that i needed to be in the main weights area with some heavier weights but i was just so intimidated to go in so my other friend also goes to that gym so one morning at six farm we were like right we'll go like tomorrow like half eight and we'll just we'll go together and we'll go in the main weights area so we did we like got familiar with like loading plates onto stuff and all that and then after then i like felt all right to go on my own but i'd only go at quiet times this is how my confidence like built up so i started going in the women's only section and then me and my friend went into the main weights area and then i'd just go at quiet times just the times that i'm used to and now i don't i still don't like going at busy times because it's just pointless like especially at pure gyms like it's pointless going when it's like peak busy times but i'm not really too, i prefer training on the morning but i'm not too like anal about like the specific time whereas i used to be like half eight every single day 
um i just go like when i can on the morning um so yeah and then i just got used to it learn more and more about what exercises for what muscle groups learn about progressive overload i go over all this like training wise in my first video so watch that if you've not seen it this is literally just why and how i got into the gym and yeah that's it really um it's not that long of a i mean i could tell a long-winded story but again my phone will overheat so <laughs> i won't bore you with that now building confidence in the gym this is what people wanted so my tips would be if you've got a women's only section use that to start with just to get comfortable with the form of exercises getting into a general routine of going to the gym um it's a really great way to like get into it or if you don't have a women's only section find like a quiet area in the gym it's normally a like mat area where people do ab work and that's normally really quiet so you could like grab a few dumbbells or whatever go over there and just slowly start building your confidence up learn the correct form youtube is really good for it uh there are some dodgy dodgy workout videos though so make sure you're watching someone who knows what they're doing um lucy davis she's my one-on-one -on -one online coach but i'm not biased like her form and stuff in her videos is really good so and she posts really good workout videos i know that boys get intimidated by the gym as well because obviously like there's a lot of like big scary men so obviously i don't think there would be a boys only section if there is then use that and if not then just again start with like a quiet corner and build up um and like one day you will literally you don't feel like it but one day you will literally just be like oh fuck it you just get to a point where you don't care anymore um another thing with gaining confidence in the gym the main reason why a lot of people aren't confident in the gym is because they're scared of people looking at them now trust me especially if you go to a pure gym everyone in that gym is far too vain <laughs> they are far too vain to be concerned about what you're doing everyone is too busy looking at themselves in the mirror or thinking about what they're gonna have for tea honestly no one is looking at you and if they are honestly it probably just means you you're good looking take it as a compliment but if they get like a bit too starey because i think some men can get a bit weird and girls can probably get a bit weird as well for boys just throw them a quick a quick look or just tell them to piss off i mean i won't recommend it they might throw a dumbbell at you but another thing with gaining confidence is the personal trainers in the gym ah uh, if you get to know like the pts and stuff you feel safer i know it sounds weird because why would you feel unsafe in the gym but you just feel more comfortable because like familiar faces you know people so i suggest getting to know the pts obviously like maybe not jumping into a relationship with them because if you go to that gym you're probably going to see them every day or most days if you're like consistent with it so maybe you don't get to know them too well but yeah just get to know like the pts and like they'll be the same kind of people in the gym every day you'll get familiar faces and you do just get more comfortable with it another thing with gaining confidence which kind of just overrides it all is if you just consistently go if you yeah get into a routine of going you just your confidence just builds naturally because you're every time you go you're getting that little 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 bit more confident and then before you know it you're smashing out heavy ass hip thrusts and all the men are looking at you like horrified that you can move that much weight with your ass it's great honestly it's great um so yeah confidence t give it time but also like push yourself out of your comfort zone you know um motivation wise so i talked about this in my last video so i'm not gonna like go over it too much again but you're not gonna be constantly motivated don't know who needs to hear this but you will not be constantly motivated like i'm not constantly motivated like some days i honestly can't be asked but i'm in a routine of going so i go and i know that i'm gonna feel better afterwards so it like it comes and goes like i go through phases where i'm like yeah and then i go through phases where i'm like oh can't be asked but then when, once i get there i'm fine it's the getting yourself there just get yourself there and then you will literally be fine another thing is find something that you genuinely enjoy doing so obviously if you have a specific specific goal in mind like building muscle weight training will be more beneficial to that goal than cardio let's say but you need to find 
a method of reaching your goal that is enjoyable for you. If you enjoy cardio, great. If you enjoy CrossFit, great. If you enjoy just general weight training, great. Like there's so many different things that you can do. Don't feel like just because everyone on Instagram is doing one specific way of training that you need to do that too. You need to find something that you enjoy because if you don't enjoy it, you won't stick to it. Like you literally won't stick to it. I genuinely enjoy going to the gym. That's why I've been able to consistently go for the past like two and a half years, five days a week. You need to find something that you enjoy. Oh yeah, so another thing with motivation, I think this is probably the last point with motivation, your source of motivation kind of thing. Do not, oh, I did this when I first started, like I said, I was obsessed with Tommy Hembra. Do not use someone else as your motivation. Now, it's fine to look at a girl on Instagram and be like, she has got a banging body, absolutely unreal. However, I genuinely, personally, don't believe that using someone else as your motivation is a good idea at all. A, again, don't know who needs to hear this, you will never look like that girl on Instagram. I hate to break it to you, sweetheart, but you will never look like that girl on Instagram. Everyone's body, like, hi, everything is so different you will never look like someone else because you are not them and they will never look like you because they are not you like i used to look at girls that are really short like five foot something and think oh my god they've got like such like nice thick legs for me who's five foot five foot something like short five foot i'm five foot six and a half um for me to have thicker legs it's gonna take long a uh, a lot longer a bit wrong in saying that but i feel like it does take longer for me to build my legs up because they're a little bit longer i'm getting there don't get me wrong i'm getting there and i'm pushing myself but it takes time and at the same at the same time i will never have the legs of a five foot three person because we've got completely different bodies completely different bodies I get asked on Instagram, how did you keep such a small waist and grow your glutes at the same time? I'm very, very lucky that I don't hold much fat around my waist. Obviously, I hold fat there, but not much at all. Like, even when I was bulking, yeah, my waist did grow. Like, I will say that my waist did go up to, like, 25, 26, probably at the highest point. But even then, it still looked smaller because I also put weight on, on my hips. Like, I, I think... It, genetically yeah i genetically have that kind of a stomach i've got hip dips so my hips don't go like my hips go out but then they do come back in because i've got hip dips but my stomach is like that so that's genetics i'm not going to sit there and say to someone well if you copy my workout routine then you'll look like me because you won't because it depends on your genetics just don't use someone else's motivation i feel like it's really damaging and i also feel like you don't want to look like someone else you want to look like the best version of yourself like why would you want to look like someone else? I mean, I get why you'd want to look like someone else. Like, I look at some people and I'm like, wow. But that's sad. Like, we should all want to be the best version of ourselves. So, yeah, I'd say with motivation, use yourself as motivation. Take progress pictures. Because I've got online coaching at the moment, I take progress pictures every week to do a check-in with Lucy. And... I've never done that before, but I find that really motivating. If you don't want to do it every week because you think you'll get too caught up in it, do it every two weeks, do it every three weeks, do it once a month. But when you see that progress, it'll motivate you. Um, another thing with progress, when you first start, you'll see a lot of progress and then it does slow down, which is why, like I said at the start, enjoying going to the gym and genuinely loving it and finding another reason other than vanity like i love how it makes me feel and i genuinely have an interest in training will be really beneficial with motivation because when your progress slows down if that's the only thing that motivates you then you're likely to give up you've got to you've got to genuinely just enjoy the process and find another reason other than sheer vanity reasons there's nothing wrong with wanting to improve your appearance in the like by going to the gym don't get me wrong absolutely nothing wrong with it but if that's the sole reason your motivation will uh dip a bit so yeah i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions comment them down below or you can message me on instagram follow me on instagram if you're not already i'll leave the first video that i did that's basically like part one to this down below which is on how i gained weight how i grew my glutes 
uh thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more video wise i know i said that this wasn't gonna be a fitness channel this is literally the third gym related video i hate myself i did try and film a bikini try on haul this morning but i went on a date last night and ate a lot of chinese food and my stomach was quite swollen so um but if you want to see that then i'll try and refilm it and get it up next week as always video suggestions let me know i hate doing these outros because i don't know how to say bye so i guess i'll just 